When we store positional numbers inside a computer, we don't have an infinite number of digits. We have to fit them into a finite number. Uh, four digits, five digits, eight digits, 16 digits. And as a side effect, even though our positional numbering systems like decimal can hold values you know, on and on and on and on, larger and larger and larger, when we go into the machine where we have a finite number of digits to deal with, we have to concern ourselves with the ranges of values our particular system can represent giving our storage limitations. So let's start with decimal numbers. Let's say I am in base 10, decimal, and I want to know what the range of uh, a four-digit number is. Now, uh, we can jump right to this because we're familiar enough uh, with decimal, uh, but of course we have to have some limitations. Uh, in our coverage of positional numbers, we included real values. We also know that there are things like negative values. And for the purpose of this video, we're only going to consider uh, unsigned values uh, starting with zero, and we'll look at integer values. So nothing real, nothing negative. All right, so in this case, we know then that the lowest four-digit number we can represent is going to be the number zero, with each of four digits having the number zero in it. The highest number that we can represent is going to be 9999, 9, 9, 9, 9, Now it's trivial for us to come to this conclusion uh, in decimal, but at least we have a data point that we can start with. So, how many numbers is this? Well, it's not 9999, it's one more than that, because we can have all the numbers from 1 through 9900. Uh, and 99, but there's also the number 0 in front of that, right? which we can represent with four zeros, one being three zeros and a one. Okay. So we have one more than 9,999, and so with a four-digit value in base 10, we can actually store 10,000 different values. Now we'll find the range in binary, which is base 2. Now there's not a predefined range. It depends on how many bits of storage or how many digits of storage we're going to use. So let's say we have four digits of storage. Now we won't say digits in binary. Instead, we'll always say bits. But that's because the word bits is short for binary digits. Right? Now uh, it's not as easy for us as it is in decimal to say exactly how many different numbers there are there, uh, unless we've already been through this somehow. So we may need to figure it out. So let's do that. Uh, if we have a 4-bit binary value, we're going to have 4 bits that we'll call A, B, C, and D for the time being. Now, uh, the first bit here, the highest bit, A, uh, because we're in base 2, can have one of two values, 0 or 1. So A could be a 0 or a 1, as all the other bits could be, 0 or 1, right? 0 or 1, 0 or 1, yikes, 1, not 2. They can each be one of two different values. So with one bit of storage, say just bit A, we have 0 or we have 1. So there's two different things. But when we add B to this, for each of the two values that A could have been, there are the option to have B with either of its two values. So when we go adding bits, we're really saying there's two bits of possibility for A multiplied by two bits more possibilities for whatever would be in B. And right now, that means we have, with just two bits, four different things. If we add another bit, say C, that means for each of the combination of bits of A and B, we could tack on bit C, which will have one of two values. So we multiply the number of possible values again by two. The same for D. So we have, with four bits, two times two times two times two. More importantly, that's two, which happens to be our base, four times, which happens to be the number of bits. Now in case that's a coincidence, 
let's add a fifth bit E and just see whether or not this works out. So if I had a fifth bit E, I'd have to multiply the range here by two again. Uh, and now my number of bits is five. And we see here that two, is, two, which is our base, has been multiplied one, two, three, four, five times. So it looks like this number correlates to the number of bits. And when we did this in decimal, base 10, right, we found that with four digits, we could have a range that was up to 10,000 different values. The range didn't go from 0 to 10,000 or from 1 to 10,000. It went from 0 to 9,999. That's just one less than 10,000. But the total number of different values was 10,000. So let's see if uh, the mechanism we're visualizing here fits here. Uh, and the way to do that would be to imagine that we have four instances in which the base 10, like here, were multiplied by each other. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. All right, so 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 10 is 10,000. So it looks pretty clear what the pattern is. Given, say, two pieces of information, a base, B, some arbitrary base, and we need to know how many uh, digits of storage. So we'll say we have k uh, digits that we're going to use for our representation. Again, keeping in mind that we're looking at things that start at the number 0 and then go higher, and they're only integers. Then we're finding ourselves taking uh, the base and multiplying it by itself uh, k times. So effectively, uh, that's something like this. Uh, we're going to find a product k times of b, which is equivalent to b raised to the kth power. Let's verify that again for our situation where the base was 10 decimal and we had four digits. 10 to the fourth should equal 10,000, which it does. Great. When we did a binary example, we looked at uh, a binary example where we had base 2 and we had 5 bits and then we had 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and we found out that there are 32 different values. So now we know how many unique values are but we have to step uh, once back and remember how we came to this 10,000 originally for decimal. Remember we looked at the numbers from 0 to 9,999 just shy of 10,000. So 10,000 different numbers starting at 0 will give us the number 0 to 1 less than 10,000. So should it be here. We should have 32 different values from 0 to 1 less than this value, which means that given a base b and k digits of storage, our range is going to go from 0 all the way up to b to the k power minus 1.